Hey peoples, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl coach master and today we are back for a video on how minimalists don't have the fear of missing out. Serious FOMO talk. Let's get right on with the video. So the problem is we've taken that hardwired process to collect things, to hoard things, to we've nearly applied it to every whimsical item we own as though our collecting and hoarding is both completely normal and necessary. So those margarita glasses that you adore, the only time they see the light of day is on Cinco de Mayo and some years not even then. So what if you need them one day? If you don't need them, will you regret it later? Consider also that third set of sheets that you keep for the sake of that sole queen size bed in your home. Although you haven't used them for years, don't worry, one day you'll need that third sheet set for all the people that suddenly may decide to come to your house at once. Perhaps they'll spend the night over after that raging margarita party that you may or may not throw. Okay, so the simple solution is to create a quarantine box. How do you know if you need this? This is if the clutter in your home creates anxiety. When you go looking for something, it takes much longer than it should. You feel suffocated by the sheer magnitude of stuff you own. You're overwhelmed by the amount of stuff you're responsible of taking care of, and you're out of space. So the quarantine box, in my house, it's basically a cardboard box and it holds things that you're not sure whether you regret to dispose of. It's a staple in your home, but it remains well out of sight. So everyone who resides in your home knows the essential function of the quarantine box and uses it consistently. So what the quarantine box is not, it's not a fancy box. It's not a place to store your clutter. It is a box that holds the stuff that you're reluctant to dispose. If you haven't used the box's contents in a predetermined amount of time, let's say three weeks, six months, something like that, make plans to donate it or repurpose whatever's inside. It's as simple as that. So I hope you enjoyed that video and I'll see you in my next videos or not.